Good morning, good evening, good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. I just feel like these church notes are life changing and you don't have to be a Christian to watch these videos, this video in, I should say, because this is such life changing information that I feel like I just need to share with you guys and I feel like church today was just so incredible and I'll leave a link to it below for anybody who wants to watch it but I feel like I took a lot from it and I feel like I need to share this with you and I feel like it's put on my heart to share this with you today so without further ado let's go with some life-changing church notes <laughs> Stephen talked about surviving and victory and I think that this is such an incredible thing to talk about particularly in terms of just day-to-day -day life a lot of us just go through the motions of life we get into a routine and we find it easy to just carry on going and what he said was rightly so many of us find ourselves in a rut of survival in our lives but God intended our lives for so much more whether or not you believe in God or not, we are here for a purpose and every single day that you wake up is a blessing and it means that you have so much more to give. If you are still here, it means that you haven't fulfilled your plan and that means that you have so much more to, to give to this world, to this life and I think that's an incredible thing to point out and I think it's so so true that a lot of us when we're asked how we are say I'm fine and as soon as you catch yourself saying I'm fine you want to start thinking okay what am I actually saying here fine is a generic answer that means you're not winning if you're saying I'm fine it means that you are going through the motions or you're trying to cover up something that you're not actually fine <laughs> which i've been there trust me so what he first starts by pointing out is that we're not always winning at life we go through our challenges and we have to go through those challenges because it eventually makes us a better person in the long run and a lot of the times we might be thinking why am i going through this i mean i've when I've been going through my darkest times with depression, I've been like, why am I like this? Why, why am I struggling so much? But if I hadn't have been in those dark, dark days, I wouldn't be the person I am today. And I wouldn't be able to help so many people through mental health and sport, through my YouTube videos, just through talking to people about depression and sharing what helped me and what didn't help me I wouldn't be able to do that today and I wouldn't be the person I am today without that so I think it's important that he points out that you'll never be free from challenges but you can be victorious amidst our dark times and amidst our challenges so he talks about being a competitor Person. I'm a competitive person so this really resonated with me and I think that it's super important to note that you can being competitive is a trait it doesn't mean that you're always winning but it eventually leads to the drive to win but being winning is an action you have to do something to get there and to be able to win you have to learn to deal with defeat and that's why we go through it, so that we can win at the end. But ultimately, what Stephen said, and it's so true, we have won by having a relationship with God. We have won just by the little things that we do every day. Whether that's waking up in the morning and getting out of bed, that can be a victory. And I've been there, that's been a victory. And I think for me, I can be very good at saying, well, it shouldn't be a victory, but I think it's so important to take the small victories because ultimately they lead to a bigger victory. And this just reiterates the fact that you're destined to win. You're here for a reason. Everything happens for a reason and God has a bigger plan for you. And if you're living in defeat, then you need to change 
the way that you're thinking, the way that you're believing that things are happening. And he just said that you don't have to win every battle to be a winner. You can walk through adversity and still be a winner. It's a bit like, I don't know, Michael Phelps. He, we can all say he's a winner, but he didn't win every single race. Chad Leclerc beat him to an Olympic gold medal in London, but I think we would all agree that he is a winner. And also, he's been through depression, he's been through the dark times, but he's still a winner. And I think it's so important to remember that Jesus overcame death for us, for our sins, so that we can win at life. And Stephen referenced 1 John um, chapter 5 verses 1 through 5 and I am not going to read it just because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, but basically he says, love one another and love God and keep this at the heart of everything you do and you will win at life. If you live your life with love and lead with love, you are a winner. So he then gave three instructions to help you win and this is the biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from it whether or not you're Christian, religious, believer of the universe, whatever, this is the thing I want you guys to take away from this and this is the thing that I really wanted to share. So number one, believe Jesus is victorious. So Jesus lived a life for us so that we could be redeemed. He paid for our sin and he defeated death. He was victorious over death. And Stephen referenced 1 Corinthians 15 5. And I'll put it on the screen, but basically God gives us this victory. God allows us to win at life by the goodness of his heart, by the grace of him. Which means that sin doesn't have power over us anymore. The second instruction was to declare your greatest enemies defeated. And I think that this really resonated with me. So according to John in the book, One John, our three greatest enemies are the world, our flesh, which basically means our old and saved self, and Satan, the devil. And I think the thing that resonated a lot with me was our flesh we can often be our own worst enemy and I know that I can be very brutal on myself and I know I won't be alone. A lot of the times I say things to myself that I would never say to anybody else and that goes back to the leading with love. Yes, love one another but love yourself to the point that you would never say something harsh to yourself, you would never put yourself down, you would never tell yourself that you're not good enough because you are and if it just goes back to the whole thing where if you're still here then you haven't fulfilled the plan that God has for you and one of my favourite quotes is um, Jeremiah 29 11 and it's on the screen but basically this just really really stuck with me that we are our own worst enemies and a lot of the times what holds us back from winning at life is our thoughts that we tell ourselves and the way that we speak to ourselves and then the third thing that Stephen said was walk daily in the victorious power of the Holy Spirit and the thing that stood out for me was the fact that one word daily it doesn't mean walk like every now and then, every now and then in the spirit it's what we do every single day that makes us win at life whether that's spiritually or not if you do things half-assed every day you're not going to achieve if you get out of bed at 4 a.m and even in a swimming context, if you work your heart out and leave everything in that pool, day in, day out, consistently, then you will win, you will achieve. And I think that that is so, so important. The fact that it says daily. The habits that we do ultimately produce our long-term results. And again, he talks 
about that God is in us, God is in our hearts and he is bigger than the world. And again, he references 1 John, he seems to love 1 John for this <laughs> service, chapter 4, verse 4. And yeah, I just feel like you don't have to be a Christian to find that resonates with you because I know that a lot of people just go through the motions, they find themselves in a rut and that's only human to do that, that's only the flesh to do that, but ultimately, oh, my washing machine sounds like it's going to take off, I'm trying to film a video here, but yeah, like, a lot of us find ourselves in ruts and I know that I personally, if I've been struggling with my depression, let's say I've gone through a hard time with my depression and I know that the things I tell myself I would never say to anybody else and it just goes back to the whole lead with love, love one another but also love yourself enough to treat yourself well, don't treat yourself like an absolute enemy because you are here and if you are still here then the one of my favourite quotes is you beat you I can guarantee that you've beaten one hundred percent of your most difficult days if you are still here today. And it's so so true. Like if you're still here, then you have more to give. And I think that that's such an important message that you can win a life. And just know that no matter what part of that journey you are in know that you can win and you will win if you just keep putting one front foot in front of the other and just treat yourself well and follow these steps and I just thought that it was really important for me to share this on this channel because the way that I interpreted that service was life-changing and I felt like I had a need to share it with you guys so I hope you enjoyed this video I know it's not a usual video that I upload I just felt like I needed to share it with you guys Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I don't know if I'll get many views. I'm just putting it out there to see if it will help one person. I just kind of felt like I needed to talk about this. So thank you so much for watching. Click the subscribe button to see more videos from me and ring that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Stay safe and be kind to yourself.